came out very clear today, Sean, is that there is a, uh, a Rahm Emanuel moment that's pretty obvious that when this disaster was happening, they decided to be opportunist and use it to expand the gun database that they are now executing by their own regulations in four states and asking Congress to expand nationally. Very clearly, yeah. they made a crisis, and they're using this crisis to somehow take away or limit people's Second Amendment rights. Well, that's the amazing thing, as the, as the Attorney General said today, that this very thing that he once bragged about is now going to fuel a crime wave for years to come. Now, that in and of itself is not an admission. And then, of course, lying is just an intention. I didn't intentionally lie. It depends on my motivation about lying, but I lied to you, but my heart was in the right place. Uh, I, I can't imagine that flying in a court of law before a grand jury. Well, absolutely. And, of course, uh, he re resisted being sworn in today, uh, which will li would limit the perjury uh, question as to his own false testimony. But, you know, one of the other things he said straight up is no one lied to Congress and no one lied in that letter that came to us that's had to be withdrawn because it was factually incorrect. It's just not true. And the very emails that we have show that. And more importantly, whistleblowers are coming forward. They're printing out over justice various emails and other documents, and they're starting to get them to our committee because they realize that what is being withheld is simply wrong.